guys what's up this is Nikhil from Doke Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at how to export simple motion graphics as GIF or GIFs you can say using After Effects and Photoshop. Now this GIF can be really really helpful for your website you know. The people who develop website use this GIFs a lot and yeah. I'm going to show you how we can actually export simple motion graphics as GIFs using After Effects and Photoshop. So let's just get started with the tutorial and yep, if you're interested in knowing how I created this, you know, metal ball kind of a liquid effect, there is a tutorial which I previously made and the link to that tutorial will be in the description. So you can go and check it out how I created the animation. So I'm going to not show you how I created this animation for now. I'm just going to show you how to export as GIFs. So for the GIF, you don't need to, you know, use a pretty big comp. So this comp is just, I guess, 800 pixels to 800 pixels, which works pretty good for GIFs. Okay, so I'm going to just select and go to composition, add to render queue. Then I'm going to go to lossless and change this from AVI to PNG sequence and change the channels from RGB to RGB plus alpha so that we don't get any backgrounds, you know, we don't get any white or black solids behind and hit OK. Now if you want to be a little more sure, so just close this up and then I'm going to set a path for the output. So I'm going to go in desktop and type in tute, OK. And this will create a folder because we are going to get a bunch of, you know, images, image sequences. So just save this up. And just go and render now this could render you know this won't take much time just render it pretty quickly okay there we go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to Photoshop create a new file make sure it's the same dimension the pixels are of the same dimension that is 800 by 800 pixels hit OK then I'm gonna go to file open and go to the desktop and there we have our and there we have our folder that we just exported so I'm just gonna click on the first image and just check mark this image sequence hit OK and make sure you have the same FPS now I did that motion graphics on 60 FPS so if you do in 30 FPS just make sure you make it 30 and I'm gonna hit it OK so now you may be wondering now what now what we need to do is I'm going to go to window and click on a timeline now this is where the GIF should work so by playing this you can come to know that your GIF is actually working or not just it's rendering so that's why it's playing a little slow now once it gets rendered it will play at the normal speed so just hit spacebar so just check out that your GIF is working properly and there we go it's perfect then I'm gonna go to file export oh, save for web and make sure you select the GIF option now there are a number of options now just wait a second you know it may take a little while to load up okay now you, you have some different option but as you know we are creating GIF so we don't need to select any JPEG or PNG or you know what's that WBMP and we use that okay anyway so there we go select the GIF save it and now we can name this anything I'm gonna name this loader okay it may take a few seconds to save and yep there we go we are done with it now if I go to my loader just double click on it and bam we should have our GIF working pretty smoothly. It may look a little bit choppy right now cause you know you may think it's like you no know, it's like giving some flickers but when you play it or upload it on your website it will play perfectly you know it's just for the reference it is loading like this so i hope this was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thanks for watching guys Down,